me. I'm looking for the true divine king of England. I ain't got shit to bleed, motherfucker. I'm sorry? I ain't gonna go and shit down the way. You hear the blood, and the blood gonna creep, and the creep ain't the ghetto. And you get your ass out of the lily wild lily ladder. Well, I don't know what you're talking about, but I'm on a top secret mission from Her Majesty's government. Ah, Her Majesty's government. How is the old cabbage? She tells us of an ancient king, of one who came to Glastonbury in 1995. The prophecies say that he was the true king of England. The prophecies tell you ill will, my friend. Why it is true that I am the true king of England under the divine rights of the Holy Lord, a crown granted to me by God himself after my great act during the famous time of 95. Nonetheless, the Queen's Elizabethan law prohibits the divine right of kings, and thus I wallow alone in my own miasma and horse detritus, farting in my own vestibule, rutting, puking, amid the dingleberries. Dare you not fight for your destiny? Fight for my country, dipshit, hound dog, no, hell no, I don't fight for primal issues of power Lenin over barbarism and pursuits of ill value. Then what is the point of your existence if you don't chase your holy destiny? Because it's scary. The scope of change and revolution under a position of government under my authority will be too much for the general population of the British. I understand, but you can't die out here and nobody withering alone in the tundra. You must face your destiny for the sake of humanity. You? What about you if I chase my destiny? I came to you for one thing, to learn your greatest skill. How to look good on camera? Yes, yes. That is what I want to learn. Okay, but if I train you, you must help me in my own destiny. Come, my friend, it is time. Thank you, my friend.